What's up, Crunchers, and welcome back to Crunch Live Unfiltered. My name is Delise Johnson, your virtual coach for today's session as we break down the Turkish getup. The Turkish getup is literally one of my favorite movements. Why? Because we get so much out of one movement, right? We get overhead strength. We get core stability as long as well as that shoulder stability. We get into every single plane there is as well as we get every joint mobile in this one movement, right? So this is why it's my favorite and this is why we're here to break it down for you today. So after today, I really expect people to comment below, let me know how it went, how it's working for you and if you have any questions about it. All right guys, so in breaking down the Turkish get up, I'm going to jump in and get up for you and then from there, we're going to cover the steps on how to move through it and then at the end of it, I'm gonna give you a couple drills that help you get a little bit stronger in this movement as you continue to progress through it, all right? So the first thing I will say is, if you don't have a kettlebell, if you don't have any dumbbells or any weights at home, that's fine. The best thing you can do in this movement is practice it without weight first. Once you get it locked in and you feel comfortable and you understand how you're flowing with it, then you can start to add a little bit of weight or even challenge yourself and throw on a shoe and see if you can hold that balance with it, all right? So, like I said, I'm gonna jump into a get up for you first. I have with me a kettlebell. It's a, a lighter one so that I can move with it and flow with it a little bit easier for you. So it's that eight kg that I have with me. And then to match with it, I have a one gallon uh, bottle of water with me. So again, if you don't have a kettlebell, grab your gallon, let's move and flow, all right? So I'm gonna drop down into the starting position and I'm going to give you a couple cues while we're in this position prior to just running through it, right? So as I lie down, I'm going to first make sure that kettlebell is on the side of which that I wanted to go on. If I am lying on my left side and the kettlebell is on my left side, that means that I'm more likely going to be going up with the kettlebell on my left side, right? So I'm going to start on my left. <laughs> so from here, I'm going to kind of crawl up with the bell. By doing this and getting into this rhythm, as you progress and, and, and you're in your weight, then it will become of your routine. I don't need to really roll over with this weight because it's so light, but because, again, we want to always practice good behaviors. And so preparing to progress the movements, I always wanna make sure that I roll with that weight to my chest and never just pick it up and put it here. Because after a while, that rotator cuff won't feel great about it, all right? So again, I wanna roll onto my back. If the kettlebell is in my left hand, that right leg is going to extend out. That left knee is going to stay bent. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that right hand and I'm basically going to starfish myself out as I was, you know, as my matching my legs, all right? From here, I'm going to take both hands, press that bell up, come away with that opposite hand, and I'm going to start the movement. First coming up with my elbow, up to my hand with that straight press, up, through, stand up tall. Ribs are down, glutes engaged, step it back, wing flow wipe. And that's your get up, right? So let's break it down. We talked about the starting position already, really focusing on rolling that weight onto our chest and not just picking it up, right? From there, I really want to pin my shoulders back, roll everything back and down to really make sure that I'm really focusing on those lat contractions and engaging my core. I press the bell up, I bring that hand away, and surprisingly enough, the placement of my hand and feet actually matter, right? So I said I want to starfish them out, which means I don't want to place them directly next to each other. I want to make sure that they have some space because when I roll to that opposite elbow, I need to be able to have that placement and that stability in that elbow to be able to pop up to my hand, right? So working on the right, let's break it down. So again, I'm going to bring that bell to my chest. I'm going to roll, placing that right knee down Extending that left leg up, pressing that bell with both hands, taking that left hand away, pulling that lat in, and I want to engage my core, and it's not a crunch, it's a roll. 
So what I want to do is I want to take that right shoulder and aim for that opposite elbow, right? Roll, keeping that bell nice and pressed. My glutes and core is engaged. I want to then place that left hand down, pop up to that hand, right? From here, I'm going to use my upper body strength and I'm going to lift up and bring that opposite leg through. I'm going to then windshield wiper it over and pop up into that lunge. Stand up tall, reverse lunge, bring it down, windshield that wiper underneath the butt, trace my hand down my hip, place my hand down to the ground, extend that opposite leg out, corkscrew away from the elbow, placing that elbow first, bringing down that shoulder, bring that bell to the hand, and letting it go. All right, guys. So it seems like it's a hard movement, but it's really not. It takes some practice. It takes a little bit of control. It takes a lot of control, right? But that's why we want to move with it. All right, guys. So we've broken down the Turkish get up with the kettlebell in two different angles, slowed it down a little bit, talked about it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how to prepare yourself with it or just go into the learning aspect of the movement. So I'm either going to use either body weight or the jug, right? So starting with just body weight, I'm going to show you how to really get comfortable with the, with the TGU. And in such, we want to start in the up position. Starting in the up position and working our way down is a little bit more comfortable than starting in the down position. So if you're new to this movement, you're really not understanding it a little bit, you need a little bit more time and breaking it down, this drill is for you, all right? All right guys, so we're just gonna start in the up position, body weight only, right? So I'm gonna place my right hand up as if that kettlebell is already on my hand. From here, I'm going to ensure that my rib cage is down, my core is engaged, my glutes are locked out. I'm going to take that opposite lunge down, down to the ground, I'm going to windshield Wiper my opposite foot underneath my butt, trace my hands down my hip onto the ground, kick my foot out, place my butt, corkscrew my elbow, place that shoulder. From here, it's more comfortable getting back up, right? So that straighten out that elbow, roll to that elbow, hand is down, corkscrew it up, bring those hips up, bring that knee through, Pop it down to the butt. Windshield wipe with the foot out. Stand up tall. And you got the TGU from the top to the bottom. All right, so one more time, I'm gonna take that water jug. I'm gonna bring it to the top. We're gonna work it down and work it back up. All right, here we go. Left leg lunge. Windshield wiper under the butt. Hand comes down, place it out, butt goes down. Corkscrew that elbow, shoulders, bring it to the chest. Pop it back out, roll to that elbow, hand, butt, foot, butt, and stand it up. All right? All right, guys, so the last drill I got for you in working through the Turkish get up is the Turkish get up roll. And what that basically is, we're gonna start in the starting position and I'm just going to start really engaging and focusing on keeping my arms straight and working on keeping it aligned with my elbow, my elbow, excuse me, my bicep to my ear and focusing on that upper core strength and mobility, right? So here we go. I drop down, I find my crawl, I roll, I press that bow, I get out and from here, that hand is down, and I just want to roll to that elbow, keeping that opposite hand stuck up in the air with that belt. Roll back down, and pop back up. Roll back down, and pop back up. All right, so there's a couple drills to help you really break it down and get comfortable with the Turkish get up. As I already said, it really helps with so many different levels of strength. Every athlete, Every individual out there that has a fitness goal will benefit from this movement. Progr program them into your, add them into your program, and let's get it started. All right, guys.